Exodus 35 Then Moses assembled all the congregation of the sons of Israel and said to them, These are the things that Yahweh has commanded you to do. Six days work may be done, but on the seventh day you shall have a holy day, a Sabbath of complete rest to Yahweh. Whoever does any work on it shall be put to death. You shall not kindle a fire in any of your places of habitation on the Sabbath day. And Moses spoke to all the congregation of the sons of Israel, saying, This is the thing which Yahweh has commanded, saying, Take from among you a contribution to Yahweh, whoever is of a willing heart. Let him bring it as a contribution to Yahweh, gold, silver, and bronze, and blue, purple, and scarlet material, fine linen, goat's hair, and ram skins dyed red, and porpoise skins, and acacia wood, and oil for lighting, and spices for the anointing oil, and for the fragrant incense, and onyx stones, and setting stones for the ephod, and for the breastpiece. And let every one wise at heart among you come, and make all that Yahweh has commanded, the tabernacle, its tent, and its covering, its clasps, and its boards, its bars, its pillars, and its bases, the ark and its poles, the mercy seat, and the curtain of the screen, the table and its poles, and all its utensils, and the bread of the presence, the lampstand also for the light, and its utensils, and its lamps, and the oil for the light, and the altar of incense, and its poles, and the anointing oil, and the fragrant incense, and the screen for the doorway at the entrance of the tabernacle, the altar of burnt offering with its bronze grating, its poles and all its utensils, the laver and its stand, the hangings of the court, its pillars and its bases, and the screen for the gate of the court, the pegs of the tabernacle and the pegs of the court and their cords, the woven garments for ministering in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest and the garments of his sons to minister as priests. Then all the congregation of the sons of Israel went out from Moses' presence, and every one whose heart stirred him, and every one whose spirit was willing, came and brought the contribution to Yahweh for the work of the tent of meeting, and for all its service, and for the holy garments. Then all whose hearts were willing, both men and women, came and brought brooches, and earrings, and signet rings, and bracelets, all articles of gold. So did every man who waved it as a wave offering of gold to Yahweh. And every man, who had in his possession blue and purple and scarlet material and fine linen and goat's hair and ram skins dyed red and porpoise skins brought them. Everyone who could raise up a contribution of silver and bronze brought the contribution to Yahweh. And every man who had in his possession acacia wood for any work of the service brought it. All the women wise at heart spun with their hands and brought what they had spun in blue and purple and scarlet material and in fine linen. And all the women whose hearts stirred with wisdom spun the goat's hair. And the rulers brought the onyx stones, and the stones for setting for the ephod and for the breastpiece, and the spice and the oil for the light, and for the anointing oil and for the fragrant incense. The sons of Israel, all the men and women whose heart was willing to bring material for all the work which Yahweh had commanded through the hand of Moses to do, brought a free will offering to Yahweh. Then Moses said to the sons of Israel, See, Yahweh has called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And he has filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom, in discernment, and in knowledge, and in all craftsmanship, to devise designs for working in gold, and in silver, and in bronze, and in the cutting of stones for settings, and in the carving of wood, so as to do well in every work of thoughtful design. He also has put in his heart to teach, both he and Aholiab, the son of Ahizamach of the tribe of Dan. He has filled them with wisdom in their heart to do every work of an engraver, and of a designer, and of an embroiderer, in blue and in purple, and in scarlet material, and in fine linen, and of a weaver, as those who do every work and make designs. John 14 Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you. For I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How do we know the way? Jesus said to him, 
I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. If you have come to know me, you will know my Father also. From now on you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and it is enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all so long and you have not come to know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak for myself, but the Father abiding in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Otherwise, believe because of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, this will I do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate, that he may be with you forever, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it does not see him or know him. You know him, because he abides with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. After a little while, the world will no longer see me. But you will see me. Because I live, you will live also. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. He who has my commandments and keeps them is the one who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and will disclose myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, what then has happened that you are going to disclose yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. He who does not love me does not keep my words, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while abiding with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. You heard that I said to you, I go away and I will come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced because I go to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will not speak much more with you, for the ruler of the world is coming, and he has nothing in me. But so that the world may know that I love the Father, I do exactly as the Father commanded me. Get up, let us go from here. Proverbs 11 A deceptive balance is an abomination to Yahweh but a just weight is his delight. When arrogance comes, then comes disgrace, but with the meek is wisdom. The integrity of the upright will lead them, but the crookedness of the treacherous will destroy them. Wealth will not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness will deliver from death. The righteousness of the blameless will make his way straight, but the wicked will fall by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright will deliver them, but the treacherous will be captured by their own desire. When a wicked man dies, his hope will perish, and the expectation of vigorous men perishes. The righteous is rescued from distress, but the wicked takes his place. With his mouth the godless man corrupts his neighbor, but through knowledge the righteous will be rescued. When it goes well with the righteous, the city exalts, and when the wicked perish, there is joyful shouting. By the blessing of the upright a city is raised up, but by the mouth of the wicked it is torn down. He who despises his neighbor lacks a heart of wisdom, but a man of discernment keeps silent. He who goes about as a slanderer reveals secrets, but he who is faithful in spirit conceals a matter. Where there is no guidance the people fall, but in abundance of counselors there is salvation. If one becomes a guarantor for a stranger he will surely suffer, but he who hates striking hands in pledge is secure. A gracious woman holds fast to glory, but ruthless men hold fast to riches. 
The man of loving kindness deals bountifully with his soul, but the cruel man brings trouble on his flesh. The wicked earns deceptive wages, but he who sows righteousness gets a true reward. He who is steadfast in righteousness will attain to life, and he who pursues evil will bring about his own death. Those with a crooked heart are an abomination to Yahweh, but those of a blameless way are his delight. Assuredly, the evil man will not go unpunished, but the seed of the righteous will escape. As a ring of gold in a swine's snout, so is a beautiful woman who turns away from discretion. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the hope of the wicked is wrath. There is one who scatters and yet increases all the more, and there is one who holds back what is rightly due, and yet results only in want. The soul that blesses will be enriched, and he who waters will himself be watered. He who withholds grain, the people will curse him, but blessing will be on the head of him who sells it. He who earnestly seeks good seeks favor, but he who searches for evil, evil will come to him. He who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like the green leaf. He who troubles his own house will inherit wind, and the ignorant fool will be a slave to the wise of heart. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who is wise wins souls. If the righteous will be repaid in the earth, how much more the wicked and the sinner. Ephesians 4 Therefore I, the prisoner in the Lord, exhort you to walk worthy of the calling with which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, being diligent to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as also you were called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all who is over all and through all and in all. But to each one of us grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it says, when he ascended on high, he led captive a host of captives, and he gave gifts to men. Now this expression, he ascended, what does it mean except that he also descended into the lower parts of the earth? He who descended is himself also who ascended far above all the heavens, so that he might fill all things. And he himself gave some as apostles, and some as prophets, and some as evangelists, and some as pastors and teachers, for the equipping of the saints for the work of service, to the building up of the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith, and of the full knowledge of the Son of God, to a mature man, to the measure of the stature which belongs to the fullness of Christ, so that we are no longer to be children, tossed here and there by waves, and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by the trickery of men, by craftiness and deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in all aspects into Him who is the head, that is, Christ, from whom the whole body, being joined and held together by what every joint supplies, according to the properly measured working of each individual part, causes the growth of the body for the building up of itself in love. Therefore this I say, and testify in the Lord, that you walk no longer just as the Gentiles also walk in the futility of their mind, being darkened in their mind, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the hardness of their heart. And they, having become callous, have given themselves over to sensuality for the practice of every kind of impurity with greediness. But you did not learn Christ in this way, if indeed you heard him and were taught in him, just as truth is in Jesus. If indeed you heard him and were taught in him, just as truth is in Jesus. To lay aside, in reference to your former conduct, the old man, which is being corrupted in accordance with the lust of deceit, and to be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and to put on the new man, which in the likeness of God has been created in righteousness and holiness of the truth. Therefore, laying aside falsehood, speak truth each one of you with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry, and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and do not give the devil an opportunity. He who steals must steal no longer, but rather he must labor, performing with his own hands what is good, so that he will have something to share with one who has need. Let no unwholesome word proceed from your mouth, 
but only such a word as is good for building up what is needed, so that it will give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and anger and wrath and shouting and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Instead, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, graciously forgiving each other, just as God in Christ also has graciously forgiven you.